back, huh? Yeah. You catch it? Well, shouldn't have to. Now uh, watch very carefully. This to, won't last long. Do you want to explain what this is? How it's being? Yeah, that's that's a spring. That's a spring that pulls at constant force. Okay. We have this is spring loaded, so we have a spring and a cable, and we'll, we'll be pulling at constant force. But at some point, it will start decelerating and come to a rest. We'll start right about here. Okay. So the acceleration, the acceleration range are from here to there. So watch, watch carefully and see whether the ball tips forward or backwards as soon as this thing starts moving. You ready to observe? Here we go. What are we doing? Are we off the track? <laughs> this car that is accelerating, I have a mason holding a plumb bob. Okay? I showed you the plumb bob. Here it is. In what direction do you think the plumb bob would be hanging down? Down to the left. Down and to the left. Like that. Just like, just like the ball from the ceiling. So if you were to build a wall, which way would the wall be built? <laughs> it will be built at an angle, like that. Okay? So as far as he is concerned, as far as he is concerned, he's on an inclined plane. He doesn't know any better. He can't tell the difference whether he is accelerating at constant acceleration or whether he is inside at, at an angle. And think about it this way. You've all been on subways or buses, okay? So now, imagine this being turned around so that these will be up and down in this direction. He'll be on an inclined plane because the floor would be inclined. If you're in a bus and the bus accelerates forward very rapidly, jerks forward, what is your instantaneous reaction if you're standing inside the bus or the subway? You move, yeah, you stick your leg backwards. It's as if the floor of the bus got tipped all of a sudden. So you gotta put the leg back to keep your balance. And of course, the opposite way if it breaks suddenly. Just think about it. Now, here is a mind expanding question. And we'll have a demonstration. There's a balloon in there. And guess what we're going to do? Pop the balloon. No, we're not going to pop the balloon. Sorry. That's easy. That's easy. Anyone can do that. If this guy here is holding the balloon, which way is the balloon going to go? Choice A, choice B, choice C. What do you think? C. C. Let's vote. How many people say A? Very few. What's that? There's the acceleration. So how many people say A? How many people say B? Straight up. How many people say C? Everybody. Well, like I said before, nature, nature is not a democracy. What do, what do plumb bobs do? They point straight down. 
What do balloons do? They point straight up, away from plumb box. Right? They always do that. Don't they? So we expect A. We expect the balloon to tip forward. Let's see if that is the case. and tape it on the back seat. Then get on a level piece of, of the road and push on the accelerator pedal to accelerate. And look in the rear view mirror. Don't look straight back because you need to see where you're going. <laughs> look in the rear view mirror and see what the balloon is doing. It will lean forward. Then push on the brake, balloon will lean, lean backward. Okay. Now later on, later on when we study buoyancy, we'll do the balloon in more detail, why things float, but we're not there yet. Okay, next day. Now here we have another free body diagram. Question. That's a problem from the book. 